Let's go. His energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki. You need to do something, too. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Yeah, kid, it is. Uh, okay, so it's a raid. Neat. Love that. Okay. Thank you very much. And... I, um, can't terrestrialize immediately because it's a raid, so let's get a, get a little bit set up here. Terra Starstorm. Cool. Ow! Yeah, you wanna wanna hit me with some of that? <sighs> oh, did it? Does it affect me too? Is life too better than I thought it was? I can live with that. Uh, Ivy cudgel, I guess. Not a ton of damage, but a little. He's using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Yeah, no shit. I've done raids before. Okay. Ow again. Matcha gotcha. Cool. Out of recovery it a little bit. And then we should get some health back from the terrain. Very nice. It's getting health back too, though, which sucks. But, you know, that's fine. I'm really more worried about my own survivability until I can terrestrialize myself. Hey, life do us again. If you, if you wouldn't mind, Carmine, I'd really appreciate it. You should, you should really be playing support, honestly. Yeah, see, um, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <sighs> fine, whatever. That was really dumb. You should have life, dude. It's fine. I think I can live another hit. Maybe. Now's your chance. Use Terrastalize Pokemon to strike back. Okay. Is that our chance? Oh, I can Terrastalize now. Okay, cool. Let's do it then. Twice in one day, Ogre Pond. Let's make your face get all big. Yeah. Your body aspect. I don't remember what that one does. Attack rays. Okay, that's, that's what I want. Good. Rage powder. Interesting. Very interesting. Thank you for the support, Carmine. I appreciate it. Alright, that about took the barrier down. That did take the barrier down. Okay, cool. Very good. Uh... Okay, absorb terrestrial energy and shut down my Terra? I did absorb terrestrial energy? Weird. Very weird. Never seen something like that happen before. <coughs> 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 There goes Sinistra. Oh no, my Sinistra's knocked out. This isn't good, it's just too strong. And another barrier? Are you serious? Jesus Christ. He put up another barrier of such strength. Did it use the Trastle energy to absorb to do so? You need to get in there battle, Kiki. AJ is doing all the work. I, it's no good, I'm useless. No, you're not, kid. Come on. Shoot. I don't want to keep wasting my heavy cudgels. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Shoot. Shoot. 
doing like no damage to it. And there goes Ogre Pond. All right. Shoot. Well, I guess it is. It it actually is a superior Terrastal Energy user then. All right, let's go. AJ's very first legendary. Let's do this. Yep. I got it. You can stop talking now. Um, sure. Terrastalized Kyurem. I don't think AJ's done this before, has she? Bring it on. This thing's a frickin' legend. And not just in that it's a legendary Pokemon. Didn't even take the barrier down yet. Jesus. Ow. And it's super effective. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. Like, if I hadn't spec'd Kyurem to be very bulky, that probably would have just wiped him. So here's a question. What type did it change to, then? Is it Dragon? If so, maybe, like, an Ice Beam would be better, because it might freeze it. But this, this battle might not let me freeze it, either. Just go for Stab. Like, Double Stab. Terra Stab. You know what I'm talking about. It didn't even take it past the barrier point, either. Shoot. And it's gonna suck away my terrestrial energy again. God dang it. This is crazy. It is so I'm terrestrial energy yet again. Surely I can't keep doing that over and over, though. It literally is. Kiki, AJ is in trouble. You need to help her. I, I can't. I can't help anyone. Yeah, you can. Get in here. Come on. Let's go! Yeah, go Super Saiyan and get in here, kid. Yes! Let's do it. What did it change to, though? Can I tell? Okay, I'll help out too. Good. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. The plan. Alright, let's do this. Try Ice Beam, I guess. Not very effective, okay. Can we not? Can we not do that, please? Okay, that didn't do much to me that time. Super effective from a grass move. Not very effective from an ice move, so... Rock? Would that be rock? I think? Okay. Let's go. No? What would it be then? Water? Probably, right? So then Dragon Pulse is my best shot again. Let's go then. Or freeze dry, I guess, but I'm about to trastalize, so I might as well. I do like, though, that because I brought Kyurem with me into this battle, this thing is literally going up against AJ's strongest Pokemon. 
and fighting it basically to a standstill. I, I think that is just very fun. And I, I feel I feel the need to say so. Whew. Looks like it can't do it again. It looks like it can't absorb more trust or more energy to put up a barrier. Time to attack. And end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. Now, if we have your permission, then of course, absolutely. Let's finish this. And? Now it's gonna attack first, I guess. That's fine. Boom. And that'll do it. Honestly, I could have done it without him. It would have been harder, though, so. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. Alright. I know I can count on you, AJ. You got this. You sure you don't want it, man? If you're sure, then yeah, okay. Um, what do I want to put it in? Probably a premier ball. I like premier balls. Let's go. Boom. Got it. Beautiful. It, is it over? Is everyone okay? Uh, yeah, we're fine, don't worry. Oh, thank goodness, what a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. I was sure she was going to turn out to be a villain. I'm actually kind of disappointed. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this drastical stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I messed up, too. I looked up to AJ for so long, like two whole weeks. I wanted to be like her so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like her after all. Finally, finally I can let it go. Nah, man, you totally stepped up when you were needed. That's literally all AJ does. Don't sell yourself short. But, I just... Hey, my weird sniffliness actually worked out in my favor there for a second. I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. Ah! <laughs> so adorable. Oh, you two must have been so scared. Um, just the two of them, though. She could tell AJ wasn't. Because AJ is, um... Starting to become pretty powerful. Maybe not as powerful as Hero yet. Or maybe she is. But she's definitely up there. Not much for her to worry about anymore. But you all showed brilliantly just now. You are truly dazzling. And in the end, our AJ even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we consider our little exposition in Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. And everybody is crying except AJ because she's the freaking hero of the story and doesn't do that. That was fun. It wasn't super deep or meaningful, but it was fun with a with a solid battle, some good pathos for the characters. That weren't the player character. Phew, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch that I need a publisher first. Hey, AJ. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology. Including you, AJ. 
Yeah, it's not ne necessary, man. So, I'm sorry. It's still not necessary. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... You wanna go out? No, I'm kidding. That's definitely... That's what his sister wants. I wanna make this right. Look at the sun coming up behind him. That's cute. So, do you think... We could start over from zero, be friends again? We never stop being friends, man. Hey... We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Cute. That kind of that kind of puts the cap on what I was saying. There wasn't a ton to that, but there but it was sweet, and the environments were interesting. I enjoyed that quite a bit, actually. I'm I've I've enjoyed this DLC quite a lot. Credits again. Huh. I have to mute this part because it's the freaking. Isn't this Ed Sheeran, the freaking Ed Sheeran song again? I like the separate credits though for the hidden treasure areas here. This is fun. Like, I know this isn't the perfect game. And they wouldn't be adding anything to the main storyline if they kept doing DLC. But they have added so much good stuff with these two DLCs, and I know there's a third mini one, an epilogue, coming um, early in the year. But uh, they've added so much that I wanted in this game from the start um, with just the Hidden Treasure Area Zero that um, I, I genuinely wouldn't mind if they kept dropping DLC for this game for a while longer, working on that. In, while they took their time developing the next main series game or legend spin-off or whatever they want to do um, if this is where it ends though I'm, I'm pretty happy with it and there's more to do there's gonna be more episodes of the 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 LP I have something planned and I might have to put it off until the epilogue because I have to get some stuff together to do it. But um, I do have something planned special. And there's more stuff to show off. There's more stuff added by this DLC, this second one, that I do want to show off in more episodes. But for, as far as story stuff goes, we're done. And I'm pretty happy with it. I still want to know what that unclimbable landmass is, though, in the Paldea map. It definitely feels like they originally intended for something to be there. And I'm very curious about it. Is it cut content? Are we wrong and we're misreading the situation? I don't know. I, I do hope there's more, is my point. But I'm still relatively satisfied with what we got. And regardless of what the games are like, right... It's still Pokemon, I still love this world, and it's lore, and I like building my own lore within it. And I love I love seeing the new Pokemon, I love getting to meet them. And, um, so, so at the end of the day, it's been fun, it's been real. And hopefully the stuff they added in with these two DLC is an indicator of where they know they were lacking in the base game, and therefore an indicator of what they'll focus on with the next main series game. Because if, if that's the case, I really think the next main series game could be one of the best. And I, I know, as a Pokemon fan, it's been really frustrating that Pokemon games for a while now have been kind of mid, and that I've only really been as impacted by them as I have been because I love this franchise so much. But I definitely feel like they have shown a trend in the right direction. I hope I'm right. This is a remix, I thought so. By Toby Fox, okay. I'm I'm still not I'm still not gonna put it in the video. Go look it up if you want to hear it. It's good. Um, like, no offense to Ed Sheeran. I don't hate the guy or anything. But he is a little... Basic. 
My sister would murder me for saying that outright on camera with witnesses. Um, but this, this sounds really good because I mean, Toby Fox, God is just a legend, man. Like, like I'm, I'm just speaking musically. I'm not even talking about, Oh, those are cute. I want to find those in the game files. Now I want them. Cause that's with, that's with AJ. That's even with AJ. Oh, that's adorable. How do I get those? Somebody tell me how I can get those, like the actual images. Bing bong bong bing. This is an announcement for the following student. AJ from Naranja Academy. Miss Briar would like to see you in classroom 1-4. She has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. Bong bing bing bong. All right, sure, let's go do that then before we sign off for today. We have a little bit of time. Got stuff to do there, too, with um, the the headmaster guy, Amorous. I thought there was story stuff to do with your friends from Paldea, too, but maybe that's in the epilogue, or maybe that's back in Paldea. Okay. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Still need to play Deltarune really bad. Hey. Hey, AJ. Glad to see you. Are you feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the Underdepths? Uh, yeah, sure. Definitely slept. Oh, youth really is an enviable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on, on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry. I made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila! A, a proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher, just for you. Okay. Oh god, what does that book look like? They are doing it. This is the, oh my god. I behaved recklessly in the other depths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. It's fine. I was literally in no danger at all the entire time. Ah, but there was something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing me your terror orb, AJ? Yeah, sure. Pretty sure I can get another one. You, you, you want to keep this one? It's fine. I'm pretty, uh, like I'm, they're all over the place. Mm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to energy from Trapagos. Kieran and Carmine say that ever since the Underdabs, they've been able to trastalize their Pokemon without charging their Terra orbs. Interesting. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to those deepest depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our, our, on our academy grounds. The other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the underdepths to the mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon started shining in rainbow colors. Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. And they, they have the t stellar Terra type. Uh, thanks to this, my research into the Trastle phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Okay. Grants boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of the same type will get the boost. So you want a Pokemon with a very wide range of attacking moves. So... Oh, this is going to completely change how how um, uh, type variety sweepers work. Uh, in terror raid battles, I'll lose weight boosted without limit. Okay, okay. Oh, and there was one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the academy entrance. Okay, that's all I have to report for now. Uh, thanks for setting aside some time to chat. Off, or I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good, good long look at Tropicos. Till then, bye.
Okay. That implies more story? But that doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. Let's go check that out real quick. This might go a little long this episode because of that, but sure, why not? Blue suit. Blue suit. Are you a blue suit? Oh, you're... What's his name? Oh, hey there, AJ. What brings you back up here? Uh... I could ask you the same. I don't remember what his voice was. Car salesman, right? Me. Oh, I was. I'm just enjoying the ocean breeze. Sorry, I got another battle court, hoping for an interesting match to start up or something. Uh, by the by, how's that blueberry Pokedex of yours coming along? Come, show me once you've filled it in a bit, and definitely come show me if you complete it. I'll be sure to shower you with praise. All right, sure, man. Maybe I get to battle him after I complete it or something. That could be fun. Kick his ass. He annoys me. Um, blue suit, blue suit. Um, is it like back here? She did say the entrance, right? Is it this person? Snacksworth, okay. Oh-ho! Would you look at the cut of your gym? You must be the one everyone's talking about. You're the Pound Exchange student, AJ, or my name's not Snacksworth. Yes, indeed. Call me Snacksworth. It's my name, after all. I do love to see young students putting some real effort into their self-improvement, especially the kids who really give their all for the old BBQs. I reward them with snacks. These snacks I make are very special treats, made just to the tastes of certain Pokémon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into quite spectacular Pokemon. So, so come give old Snacksworth uh, the latest whenever you've been hard at work on those BBQs. Okay. What does that mean? Alright. Ten solo quests, sure. Okay. Zapdos treat. That there's a Zapdos treat. You know, Zapdos, frightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Zapdos, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I'd climbed right up to the tippy-top of one of those lighthouses they've got in Paldea, and I was taking the view looking over a distant city when, would you believe it, the heavens broke wide open and rain started pouring down on me. I thought I'd better get out of that mess in a hurry, so I turned to head down again, and the whole sky lit up. Like a huge crash of lightning and Zapdos came flying out of nowhere. It blew right by me, quick as a flash. It loves that snack you have there, so you might have you might just have a shot at meeting it too. He run into old Zapdos. You be sure to give it my best. Okay. God, this is I love this as a way of meeting legendary Pokemon. This is so good. Like, there there have been other interesting ways to bring other random legendaries into games before, but I like this one. Because you have this area that's meant to be suitable for all kinds of Pokemon, and you have this guy who knows how to draw suitable, draw Pokemon to a suitable location. How many more can I get right now? Uh-huh. Moltres. That there's a Moltres treat. You know Moltres, right? Like, really rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Being in Moltres, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I was off doing a spot of rock climbing over in western Paldea at the time. The weather was sure something else that day. Sandstorms were kicking up the whole desert. My mouth was as sandy as the ground. I was about ready to call it quits when Moltres appeared in a blaze of glory so bright you could see it through the blowing sands. I don't know if it meant to cheer me on. But it certainly did, and I completed my climb that day. He loves that snack you have. Okay, cool. He's going to have a neat little story for each of them. Um, I'm going to go through those with you guys, then. Um, like, real quick, let's just let's just go through all the ones he has for me. That there's an Articuno treat. You know, Articuno, frightfully rare, that one, not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Being an Otakuno, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. See, I'd found this lovely pond up in the snowy peaks of Paldea and, and decided to go for a dip, hankering for a bit of cold water swimming. When, would you believe it, Articuno comes swooping down along the nearby waterfall and starts flying uh, about above me, singing away. 
I was tickled pink I was, went on merrily singing with Articuno even as the sun set and the moon rose, before I knew it, it was morning again. Cool. And he's trying to attract the same ones that he saw, too. Which is so, so cute. This is such a cute idea. That there's a Groudon treat. You know Groudon. Frightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Being a Groudon, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I did spy old Groudon once back in the days when I was an adventuring around Paldea. You know, the huge cave system under that one town? I never can remember the name. I can't either. <laughs> anyway, the name doesn't matter except to say that that's the place where I saw that feller. I thought to myself, well, if that ain't Groudon... And I gave it a big wave of my arms to say hello. What else are you supposed to do when faced with the continent Pokemon, I ask you? Huh. Cute. That there's a Ho-Oh treat. You know Ho-Oh, for wait, rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Ho-Oh, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. Now this is a real old tale from those long-ago days when I'd just started out as a trainer. I was down in southwest of P Paldea near the Cascade Waterfalls down there. I've been up through the night training without rest to try to make my Pokemon stronger. Then Ho-Oh appears in the sky and be glittering and sparkling bright as you ever saw. I'd sure like to believe that it appeared there to cheer me on when I was trying so hard. He loves that stack. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I haven't done enough for any more. If I did one more quest... Okay. Well, that's all of those for now, then. Um, can I only hear the ones that he's told me so far? Oh, I don't know. How does this work? Hold on. I didn't, I didn't actually read his dialogue. How does this work? Okay. Okay, show me their snack. Okay, so I could only it could only be the ones that he's already told me. That's so cute, though. That is such a cute idea. And he, he's a he's a weird looking guy, and I picked exactly the right voice for him, I think. But man, so interesting. I definitely need to try something. I'll get to it though. I'm not gonna do it right now. But I definitely need to try something, and I might need him to do it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I also need to look into how to train this guy up. But I'll do that between episodes. <laughs>